Hi Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading for the week of October 24th, 2022. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. These are general readings. Take with you what resonates. Leave what does not behind for someone else. Okay, so Aries, you know, this is your uh, week of making things happen. It's a week about getting what you want intensity in the love life I'm seeing here. There's some special uh, messages here in regards to uh, music. So maybe pay attention to the music. You are getting things under control. Um, some of you have got a pleasant outing, maybe like a date night coming up. You're under that era of endings and new beginnings. And remember, you cannot have a new beginning without an ending. Okay. And, um, yeah, this just looks really good. And for a lot of you, something to be celebrated because some good news is going to rock. So, first card to jump out the deck for you guys. Ten of Cups. Relationship card. Happy home. Um, I don't want to say happy but broke home. But this is more about love and uh, relationships than it is about money or anything. For my singles, if you are in a relationship, you could be ascending to another level at this point in time. And for my couples um, out there, I mean, that's for my couples, but for my singles, someone is coming in to offer you a relationship. Then we have the Two of Swords coming in. Two of Swords says you've got decisions to make that you guys have been putting on off for too long. With the Moon. Now, the Moon tells me this is all about divine timing. Now, what do I mean by divine timing? It means things that have to fall into place for another event to occur. It's asking you to dig for your patience. We have the Four of Pentacles. Keep some things to yourself. Don't tell everything you know. Thoughts, ideas, and opinions. And for some of you, a stash of cash. Center of your reading. Look at there. It's the Four of Wands. Relationship. Marriage. News of a marriage. Engagement. Definitely intensity in the love life here. Looking good, looking positive, and moving forward. We have the Six of Wands. There it is. Total victory, complete success. Some of you guys may be tarot readers. Who knows? But you may have an audience. Um, you're in the spotlight. You're surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. But it does scream victory and success. We also have the Nine of Swords. Oh, Aries, get out of your head. Your overthinking is causing you a loss of sleep. And we have the full card energy. And I love the full card energy. This says to me that you're happy, go lucky, carefree, and aloof. But bottom line is, Aries, you're getting ready to take a leap of faith. You're getting ready to jump right into something. And there's the strength behind you, surrounding you, and no matter what you do. Okay? So, let's go a little bit further with these messages for Aries. It looks like a very... High vibration rate for you guys, or more so than what I've seen for you in quite some time. So, on that Ten of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands. Now, I think the Seven of Wands, personally, is the best energy in the deck, okay? This tells me you've done the journey inward, and it's about to pay off for you this week of the 24th. Beside that, on the Two of Swords, there is Justice. Justice is in your favor. Justice is coming in to restore your balance. And for some of you, I really want to say this might have to do with finances. This could be a bank loan. This could be an inheritance. Anything like that that's coming in to restore your financial balance for most of you. On the moon, we have the Seven of Pentacles. You're working and gaining. Some of you, it's a job opportunity. Others of you, you're planting the seed and watching it grow. And on that Four of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Wands. Your new beginning is now. It is this week, the current week of the 24th. On the Four of Wands, there is the Lovers. Guys, I'm telling you, someone is about to get engaged or headed straight to a marriage or you're in a committed relationship or you're advancing, you're living together, you're committing. Um, something big about to go on in the love life this week for my Aries. Nine of Pentacles. What is rushing in? What screams victory and uh, um, and total success for you? It's financial independence. Okay, something that says that you're grounded and you're centered and you're financially stable. On that Nine of Swords, two nines, by the way, uh, indicating completion. Just what I said at the beginning of the reading. You cannot have a new beginning without the ending of a cycle. 
we have the moon card has appeared again to let you know it's about divine timing. Aries, you're going to have to dig for your patience. And on that full card energy, a Gemini may or may not resonate here. We have the King of Pentacles again going with this financial abundance and the financial stability. And on your strength card, you're feeling bajiggity. There's that nine of wands. The nine of wands says that you're overwhelmed. You're excited and you're anxious and you're all that all rolled into one like a cat on a hot tin roof. And the center of your reading that unexpected offer of love. I really think, Aries, your love life is really going to take you by storm this week, okay? In a most positive way. Definitely a high vibration week, so you guys enjoy. Don't forget, JackieTomlin.com, if you're seeking a personal reading, you guys have a fantastic week, and I'll see you soon. Bye.